Thanks for watching our summer plugin for Jira uh, demo together with Okta. Covered in this demo is the uh, setup of the single sign on plugin uh, for less in Jira, uh, authenticating against Okta, and also the just in time provisioning of users and the assignment of groups. Um, so let's jump right into it. Um, you need to log into your Okta account as an admin, go to applications, then add application create new app and then you need to select SAML 2.0 create and the app needs a name let's call it Jira Demo 2 okay next and now we need to um, enter the um, single sign on URL which is the um, uh, lesson application base URL um, plus um, slash plugins slash server servlet slash saml SSO. Copy that because we need it again on the service provider ent entity ID. And we would be fine to authenticate now. But since we also want in this demo to create users um, on saml login, um, we need to map some additional attributes. Um, first, we're going to map the user first name to um, the attribute first. Then the user last name to the attribute last, and then the email um, uh, to the attribute email. So again, that would be enough to um, create users, um, but we also want to transmit uh, all the groups that the user is a member of. So we need to add um, group attribute statements. Um, we'll call that groups. We need that name again later in the um, SAML plugin configuration. And we also need to apply a filter. Since I don't have many groups in here, I'll just apply the regex.star, which is everything. So if you don't want to send all groups to, um, uh, to Jira, you need to um, have a select a different filter option or um, adjust your regex. Go to next, please. Right, now we need, uh, this is a short um, uh, feedback uh, survey, just um, uh, finish that. And um, now we also need to assign users. So click on assignments. Um, I'm just going to assign a, um, a person to it. Uh, assignment just means that um, that user can actually use this integration. That user can log in via SAML into um, uh, Jira. You probably want to select a, a couple of groups that you want to allow that um, right. Now we actually need to go back to sign on. So click on uh, sign on, please. Scroll down, yeah, and uh, copy the identity provider metadata, copy link address. We'll need that in our plugin in a second. So we're done on Okta, so um, let's jump into our plugins configuration now. Right, let's install the plugin, uh, go to add ons, and then search the marketplace for resolution SAML, click install. It'll take a second. There we go. Okay, close this and then go to manage uh, so that you can get to the um, plugins configuration page. All right, click configure now. And now you actually um, um, see the configuration page. Uh, and since it's the first time we start the plugin, it starts with the welcome wizard. So click add new IDP. Right, select. Um, Import metadata from URL. Uh, we call that Okta. Description is Okta as well for now. Go to next. Now paste the URL we uh, just copied from Okta um, to load the metadata. Click import and then uh, metadata import successful and then click next. Um, here we leave this. This is just if we need to uh, modify usernames, which we don't. So just go on to next. And now check this box, enable user creation and update, because that's what we want to do as part of this. Uh, if you only authenticate users, then you don't need to do this. So now the full name attribute in uh, Jira needs to be mapped. And um, we map that to first and last, because that's together the full name. And it's in curly brackets, because we are combining two uh, attributes. Then um, the email attribute is email. So that's enough to create those users, but we also want to um, uh, do groups. So go down to the group attribute and add groups. That's the same name we had on the um, Okta site. 
and also here we also want to add a additional group to every user logging in so not just the groups from Okta um, and we'll just use um, Jira service desk users here um, just that you can see that feature if you have that group assignment in Okta already then you don't need to have this additional group on login let's go on next no, we're essentially done. You just see the summary information again, which you can click on um, next and it saved the config. So now it's just about um, to test. So click start test here. And this creates a um, what we call an authentication tracker. Um, the URL I can use in a new incognito window. So I open a new incognito window. I copy this um, URL. And um, then I just paste it here and you actually see it redirects me to um, Okta since I'm already authenticated there it's actually signing me in straight into Jira so I'm logged in so that was successful if I now go back to the plugin the window I kept open you see the results of the authentication tracking so success so the authentication tracker is great to troubleshoot things but also to test um, and it gives you, if you scroll down, it gives you a lot more information um, what has been going on and that's very valuable especially on the support side later on. Click next. Right, the only thing left to do is to enable um, SSO redirect which means every user gets redirected instead of the original login page um, to the IDP. Um, you can do that now or um, go back to the settings later. Um, everything we've done so far has been non-disruptive. Um, so users didn't realize um, you were doing any changes. Um, so um, if you do it now, then you need to go to the um, checkbox, um, enable SSO redirect. And we also need to configure the uh, logged out URL method. Um, we typically choose redirect all users after logged out, which means the users will see a custom logout page once they um, um, have clicked logged out instead of being redirected straight to the IDP and logged in again. So we're finished. Um, really thanks for watching this video. Thanks for evaluating or purchasing our plugin. We really appreciate it. And um, uh, I hope um, this is um, really um, to get you started. Um, what's another great way to get you started is if you look at the first link, if you book a free setup session with us via screen share. So especially if you need to use some of the advanced features or this tutorial was a bit too fast then um, uh, going for one of our free sessions um, has really helped many customers to get started. Also, you find our um, documentation and um, if you don't want a screen share session but need some other help, have some questions, um, really go to resolution.de slash go slash support um, to raise a ticket with us and we're absolutely um, delighted to help you. Um, thanks a lot. Enjoy. Have a great day.